hard at work, Major. Did you come here to say sorry? Oh, that's not my style. I like the indirect route of apology, like, you know, what happened yesterday was regrettable, and I mischose my words. In which case, in review, I, I also find that I, I could have behaved differently, and in hindsight, another outcome would have been preferable. <laughs> we should work in a press office. Mm, press office? Jesus, I drink and smoke enough as it is. Getting some downtime. Yeah, set. Ten letters. This king of kings had stone feet. So, where are we at? Where are we at? Hmm. Where does Wild stand? Oh, she's been through a lot. You heard about her phone? Hmm. I heard something. That's a big deal. <laughs> And her husband. Her husband was killed in combat. Yeah, she's been through a lot. I have to say, she's she's a really good shot. <laughs> but, but? But she's obdurate. Obstinate. Obdurate, unyielding. I know what obdurate means. I like her. I'm just, I'm not sure the Army's the right place for her. <laughs> have you made your uh, official evaluation? Personality disorder. You're sure? She's consistent with the pattern. Which she is. Long-term maladaptive behavior. Okay, well, she experienced all soldiers, childhood but, trauma. You know, I'm just worried that this is going to look like retaliation. This has absolutely nothing to do with the sexual assault. Hmm. You know, 16% of the army is comprised of women, and yet somehow we constitute 24% of all personality disorder discharges. <sighs> My diagnosis. I think we should be very careful before getting into a diagnosis like this. It's already been made. It'll be vetted through the proper channels, but I doubt you'll find anyone who disagrees with me unless you do. Maybe she's just having trouble adjusting. Adjustment disorder across my mind, but this is cleaner. Look, I know she has problems. She has serious problems. I don't make this shit up. I look at the facts. I check the boxes. I get okay. enough hits on a diagnosis. I go with that diagnosis. Okay. What am I? <laughs> Serious? I'm curious. Am I obdurate? You're a little obdurate, yeah. What, is there a scale of obduracy? Matter of fact, there is. Uh, there's the obduracy necessary to be a tough son of a bitch in a hellhole. And then there's the sort of obduracy that can lead to consistent patterns of conflict with superiors. You do not suffer from the latter. But Wild does. Yes, she does. I gotta get back to my interviews. You realize she will be administratively separated because of this? Not part of my job to worry about that. My concern is that her mental health suffers as a result. That's not an army issue that's an issue for her family her family is the army you like puzzles here's a puzzle for you why is it that more veterans commit suicide than die in combat oh, come on 18 veterans kill themselves every day that's a football team plus reserves every day why are you bringing this up because it is part of my job to think about that Joe you want to protect women that's your thing. Ooh. It is insulting. To Maybe me. for personal for reasons, you to think other that reasons. I, am not I don't know. But in you protecting every you single want person in my unit. To protect women. And I applaud that. I want to protect this girl too. By calling her crazy. She isn't crazy. Kennedy, Churchill, Lincoln, they all suffered from mood disorders. It is not a test of ability. She, she's able. I'd say she's exceptionally able. So she's not crazy? No, no, she is not crazy. Then why are you doing this? Did Harold make you do this? No, because I'm trying to protect this girl. I'm sick and tired of seeing people deploying for longer than they should have and then losing their minds and their souls because of trauma that has no fucking point. So she's not crazy. 
but she could go crazy. If she was harassed again, I don't know what would happen to her. Look, Joe, the psychologist I used to be would just patch him up, send him back in. That's my job, right? Give him happy pills, put him back in the fray. But the psychologist who stands before you now, I just want to take him out of harm's way. Now, she isn't up on a mountaintop, but she is in her own kind of war. And whether it's the enemy outside or the enemy inside, this fucking wire doesn't make a goddamn bit of difference. I have to take care of my soldiers. Sometimes that means I got to call a timeout on them. I don't apologize for that. You don't get to decide the course of her life. This part, I do. And you know why? Yeah. Because you don't want her to end up like me. It's Ozymandias. What? Ten letters is King of Kings, has stone feet, it's Ozymandias. It's from a poem by Shelley. He meets a traveler in an ancient land who sees a sculpture of a emperor in the sand and it's all decayed and broken. That's Ozymandias. His empire, long gone, he's just a empty threat, a dusty dead land. This is Major Stone. It's about Staff Sergeant Lauren Weil. I'm advising administrative separation based on a psych evaluation conducted by Major Milgram. Yes, sir.